guys, they're all pretty special to me. They're all very trusting of me and, and let me do a lot of stuff to them. So, I have to have some favourites. Oh, a little water dragon. We also have eastern water dragons in this enclosure. You might have seen a few running. Enough, these animals are destructive pests and we have to get rid of them. But shouldn't we be doing it humanely? It's not the foxes' fault they were here after all. Uh, we brought them here for fox hunting in the 1800s. So these scientists are working on ways of sterilising foxes. Oh, ants on that. Now how cool would that be? Every breeding season, which is early winter, coming up soon actually, the, um, they would put baits out. Once they figure out the serum sort of immunocontraception, which is what they call it. Come on up, please. Come on up, come here. Good girl. They'd uh, put this bait out in the instant and I don't know if you remember when I said before their lifespan's only about four years in the wild. It won't take many years to control the number of foxes in the wild with this approach. So that's pretty promising stuff I reckon. Because yeah, they are pests, but I think we should control problem animals with humane methods. Not cool. Come on, Wyatt. Come on, Wyatt. There we go. <laughs> I've got one really big piece here. Who am I going to give it to? So anyway, that's a bit of a story about our foxes in Australia. Now, some of my favourite things they do are they're amazing animals in general. They're members of the dog family. You can see that there in Kelly, can't you? She looks a bit like a dog with a big bushy tail. They're very agile. Foxes are the most agile, I believe, out of all the canines. They will hunt us, but not only do they hunt, they're scavengers and foragers as well, so they eat fruits really? and vegetables.